everyone, how's it going? It's John over here at Turning Wrenches. How's everyone doing today? I'm gonna start working on this Murray 17 and a half horsepower Tecumseh engine that I got for free. And the only reason I got it for free is I didn't have to go far. All I had to do was walk up the road, three houses down across the street from me. The neighbor threw this out along with a little kid's bike. And uh, I got on it and I rolled it down the hill. Uh, Rick actually worked on it pretty good. <laughs> but it was fun. I'm going to show you guys a clip of that real quick. It was pretty fun. Uh, you won't see me all the way on it. I only got it where I'm facing down on the camera uh, on the ground. But you'll see me actually ride it on there. And it'll kind of make a little noise on there. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Look what my neighbor threw out. I think I'm going to bring it home. What's the benefit of living down a road with uh, a hill? You can ride a free tractor down it. It made it this far. <laughs> For free, up the road from me. Fun, wasn't it? Yeah, that's how I wrote it down here. Um, one thing that's good on this one, somebody had put tubes in it prior to, uh, to this, so all four tires have tubes in it. Um, the tire on the on the right side, driver's side here. They had it in backwards, so I did that off camera. I switched it around and all that. Um, the only other issue is the hood. As you can see, the hood can only hold on by this little screw right here and stuff. So I'm not find some nuts and bolt uh, skinny enough to hold the to put the hood back together here. So. Uh, I mean, other than that, it rolls. Uh, we need a foot pad for the brake. Uh, steering's a little wonky. It, when you try to turn a certain way, it, it acts like there's no teeth there, even though I looked underneath and the teeth are actually on the gears of the steering wheel and the, the gear on the bottom. So, probably just needs to be greased there. Um, no wire hookup for the lights, so I'll have to see if there's any way I can do that. I might take parts off the Murray that I it out and put it on there for that. Uh, let's take a look at the engine here real quick and uh, see if we can get this thing fired up some way somehow. All right. Uh, the engine. The Enduros. 17.5 Tecumseh engine. Fuel filter, overhead valve. It's gonna be my first one to work on. Uh, it's got oil. I forgot how much oil it has. I got my rag here with me. Double check real quick. Uh, we got oil, but it's on the add mark. Check it one more time. Yeah, so it's gonna. It's got enough to just to see if it'll start crank over so I'll do a oil change on that uh, let's take a look at the air cleaner real quick pull this off let's see got the Tecumseh uh, air filter this is like the 8 horsepower one Filter don't look that bad shape. About the throttle. Eh. Cable moves, but the throttle linkage is not moving, but it's probably stuck. Probably needs to be cleaned or greased. So. 
if I had to adjust that. Um, no fuel oil in the tank, which is actually a good thing, but unfortunately it smells like old gas, even though there's empty. But we'll clean that out anyway. Unfortunately, uh, it does spin over. I think this would start up with no problem. So, uh, let me get a battery hooked up to it. I'll get the air uh, filter off of here and we'll see if we get this thing to uh, see if it'll pop. Alright, I got the battery hooked up. I don't know how good it's going to do. Brake. Didn't have a key with it. It doesn't look like the brakes at all. Come on, breathe with me. Okay. So I guess I might have to get on it and, and do it. The choke is acting a little weird. Now, so I gotta open it up. Not moving like it should. Here, so I'm gonna spray some uh, just to see if it'll do anything. Well, the choke's kind of working. Maybe I worked it out. We'll see if it'll pop fire up. with it. Awesome. So we need to take apart the carburetor now. Alright. Let me get tools set up. This is going to be my first attempt on this carburetor. I doubt we're going to do a quick and dirty. So we'll just take it apart. Better yet, there's a drain hole on this carburetor so I got an old soup container here I'm gonna see if I can uh, break the bolt loose on here or not Might have to try to do something different on this one. Working on this one, huh? Is that what you got the part for this one? No. Let's see if I can get this to break loose. I gotta free this up anyway, so we'll just take the whole thing apart. Okay. Looks like it's a 10 to get this air cleaner off. That bolt off. I think these are studs right here. I don't know if it's 10. See if it's 11. Let's see if it's 11. It's 11. Right 
they're sleeping all of them. That one. Let's see. That one I'm gonna have to get a socket for. All right, I got the air cleaner off. She is dirty. I'm gonna leave that setting the way it is. I'm not gonna mess with that. So we gotta free this butterfly out. So I'm gonna get these studs off. Let's see. Normally it's about a four to get that off. Off of there. Let me get a four socket real quick. All right, got a four. That one was easy. One might be a little difficult. This one, that one broke loose. That one I gotta clean some stuff off of. There's a better way to clean it off. That one, I think, is stripped. Let me see if I got a star tool to get that part off. Okay, I got the. I take my vice grips and break the. Break that loose. Let me see if I can get a socket on there now and see if it'll spin it. No, it's stripped. put it across there. Kind of the budge. Let me try my channel lock. See if, it, if I can get anything on it. I'm trying. I don't want to damage the threads right there. There 
go. Unfortunately, not that bolt. That bolt, I mean, it's still good, but it's just stripped. I'll clean those bolts off of there. Looks like the gasket wants to come off with it. It's still alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off of there now so I don't wreck it. I apologize if I'm in the way. I'm left-handed, so there we go. Yeah, it's got some crud on there. See, it's kind of stripped right there. Maybe I can get it back. I don't know. All right. So it looks like a hose clamp. Probably an eight. Let's see if we can get that loose real quick. Or five sixteenths. That was quarter inch. Every time I film, there's always a train going by. Never fails with me. Every time I, every time I put put a video out, I always have a train. It never fails. The train always picks the the right time in, in, in my area for it to come on. I had the quarter inch. There it is. Let's see if I'm right about it. I think it's a quarter inch. I don't even have to worry about putting my drill on there, it's already coming loose. Okay. Alright, it's off of there. Now I just gotta get it off these Z bins. And one for the choke. Or is it the throttle first? that first. And then that one. Felt like a little tab right there. Alright. I had a drain bolt, but I couldn't get that off. It's going to be my first carburetor. It needs to be clean, though. The gasket's still good. Don't look in really bad shape. So we'll take it apart and see what what this has to offer. Okay, I gave it a quick little bath. Don't look too bad. Better than what it was. Now like I said, this is my first time ever working on one of these. Everything kind of freed up a little bit. I think you pull this back towards me like that. Thank you. Uh, I don't see anything else. Don't look that bad. There's the emulsion tube. I actually don't look too bad either. Huh. I'm expecting a lot different. But it's plastic. So of course it's not going to get anything in it. This is supposed to be a drain. I 
quilt stuck. So I'm gonna get that, get that free. See if we can spray anything in here to free it up. I'm gonna move that carburetor top of it out of the way. Put down my safety glasses. that motion tube over there. I'm kind of still gummy though. Oh wait a minute, did I free it up some? Look at this file. See if I can pop these out of here. Snapped on. Hmm. It's kind of cool that it's moving now. Hmm. Let me get a pick to get that out. All right, I got a pick. I'm gonna get in here and pull this up. There's one. There's two. There we go. Ooh, a little gummy, don't you think? Yeah. Need a little cleaning up right there. We'll have to clean that up. Soak in that for a minute. Can I get this float out? Pin out. In there for a second. It's the first time I ever take one of these apart. A little gummy. Goggles. Might need the might need my the nozzle part of the brake parts cleaner on this one. Let's see. Sound like someone's like gargling. Okay, let me look down in here real quick. I think that's a jet right there. I think there's one right here too. But I gotta get that off. Let me grab a flathead screwdriver, see if I can pop that open. Let's see if I can get this thing open. Oh. Little gummy on that one too. Goggles again. Mm, dropping stuff. I mean, 
otherwise, it doesn't look that bad in here. It's right where that float uh, goes. A little gummy. Right in here. Don't know if that's an actual float. Can't tell. No varnish on this thing. It's actually rust. Got a skinny nail needle too. Okay. I'm gonna take my time. I get my brush. I'm gonna try to clean some of this off the best I can here. And uh, unfortunately enough, as you can tell, it's getting darker out, so that means unfortunately it's probably gonna be raining here soon. And that's my problem here lately. I've been dealing with a lot of rain. So I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Come back to you guys when I get through. Unfortunately enough, I had to put everything up because we're getting rain droplets in the area this is what happens with me when I try to work on anything <laughs> it always rains not bad over that way but just over this way it's starting to cloud up real bad and over there too so right now I'm just gonna I put the tractor up covered it back up with the engine I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the carburetor through the ultrasonic cleaner here excuse the mess of stuff but uh, I'm gonna put it through the ultrasonic cleaner here I got it warming up it's at 28 degrees Celsius there so I got it for 30 minutes so should be starting to get a little bit warm not there yet but it's getting there so the floats actually floating so that's a good thing in a way so it's floating so I'll probably just let it go through that cycle there I'll probably run it through two times and stuff so it'll give me a chance to clean some stuff off and all that stuff and then as soon as I start saying that it's starting to rain out there and stuff so here comes the rain as you can tell on the grill where it's raining at right now there we go just to let you guys know that car does run it's this um, I didn't bleed out the system very well on the coolant so the heater cord is backing up into the car right now so I gotta do a I'm probably gonna do a coolant flush on my car there and stuff I've been and so, so that actually does run it's just I've been having some issues with it right now I haven't got to yet there but uh of course we're working on mowers and stuff and then of course you know mother nature doesn't like me working on stuff so of course it's raining right now so I'm all wait for this thing to warm up and uh, put the ultrasonic cleaner on it's got to love this weather you can see the Sun kind of poking out and then of course it's raining see look over that way in between those cars and and stuff right there pouring down rain this is kind of what I hate about not having a workspace garage can't do nothing I mean I got a workspace but I you know, I can't pull a tractor in here and work on it when it's raining and then it stops me from what I'm doing because most of my work is done outside 
So, uh, all right, back to back to this real quick. Here, the it's almost at 32, so I might just go ahead and start it now. Turn the heat, turn the heat off. Go ahead and let it cook. Unfortunately, I won't be able to put it on the tractor today. Let it, let it cook. See if it gets all that gum off of there. Maybe I'll let up. Like I said, it's raining and the sun's out. Go figure. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, when it stopped raining, I answered a Facebook marketplace on some mowers that needed to be picked up for free. That one's a Craftsman. That was featured on my channel before. It's got the bagger with it. Uh, Murray, um, missing the mulch cover for it. I could put one on there, but I don't know. Just leave it maybe as is. I got to clean the duct tape off it. Both have the plastic carbs, so those are going to be easy fixes. For I probably won't uh, show those on a video. Uh, the guy said if I wanted a uh, drop spreader, he gave me one. Even though I already got one, but this one's a bigger one, so that one I might hang on to. I don't know yet. And then also a uh, brushless mower, motor uh, Ryobi. No battery though. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I might just sell it as is uh, for anybody that needs, that needs a mower. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll clean it up a little bit, though, and we'll see how it looks. And like I said, both these have compression here also. Uh, blades are actually, this blade's actually pretty good on this one. Blade's good on the Craftsman one, too. So they both have compression. They both uh, turn over. the. So it's just a simple service oil change you don't have to worry about the blade sharpen just clean it up a little bit clean the carburetor out on both of them and uh send them on their merry way maybe sell that one for at least 100 since it's got the bag this one i don't know maybe 65 just depending on how it goes there and stuff so yeah not a bad scores today there so with that said there today oh no not bad it's not raining for now but as you can see it's getting dark outside so uh, we're gonna end this video right here today so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching stay tuned for episode 2 tomorrow uh, weather permitting I uh, should be able to get this carburetor back on there I run it through another cycle uh, of the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, we'll see if we can get this uh, the Cumsy uh, 17 and a half horsepower Murray uh, going and uh, thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe uh, I'm up to 215 subscribers let's see if I can get up to 300 250 would be nice but I like to get up to 300 and then go from there hopefully enough I can get to a thousand that'd be awesome if you guys could uh, help me out there I appreciate that so uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time on turning wrenches